Global Dope Hunters, part two is on the way and we will be getting part two in just a couple of days because the server maintenance will be starting on Global on the 13th on Sunday at 6 p.m. PST. So basically two hours after your refresh when the new missions are available for the day. Two hours after that, we'll be shutting down, going into maintenance, and then we will be jumping out of the maintenance with a new campaign and a new banner. So let's take a look at all of that on the Dokkan Wiki. But before I do, I want to show you guys, because a couple of people have been asking me this, obviously newer players have been asking, how do you know when new banners are coming or when they're not or whatever? Basically, all of your clues can come from the dates of the stone sales. Stone sales in Dokkan have to be available at all times. Obviously, it can't be the same set of sales for a, an entire year because all it takes is people buying those sales early on and then the rest of the year, nobody wants to buy those stones. So what they have to do is constantly refresh the pool, give more and more discounts so that people are more enticed to purchase their stones. That's where they make their money. So they basically have these stone sales happening during the duration of various banners. So as you can see right here, the start date for this one is the 31st of January at 22.30, which is the same time as the Tech Dokkan Festival Androids banner. And then it's gonna be ending on the 13th. So it's actually ending a week before this banner. And because this is gonna be ending a week before, that means that a new banner is gonna be emerging that will then push more sales one minute or 31 minutes after this stone sale ends. Now, a little pro tip for those of you who are people who spend on these stones, I'm one of them obviously, so if you guys are dolphins or whatever you wanna call yourselves, just keep in mind that with the maintenance starting at 1800 and ending on the 14th, it is possible that if they don't end the maintenance early enough, you might lose out on some of these sales because this stone sale will be ending in the middle of the maintenance. So if you guys are buying these packs up, make sure that you buy them before maintenance starts. Just a little pro tip. But in any case, let's jump over to the Dokkan Wiki now and take a look at how things played out on the JP side for part two. Keep in mind that since JP's timing is a little bit different, things are not gonna be lining up exactly the same and there could be some things that are withheld for future celebrations. So let's take a look here. We've got the login, we've got the special missions. They'll probably change the theme here. This one's all Christmassy. We don't really have Christmas anymore, so that doesn't really work. But we've got the double rates LR future Gohan. I'm kind of chuckling at this because this would be our third double rates banner in less than three months, which is unprecedented. So either they, com they completely remove the double rates portion and just make it a regular legendary summon, or they keep this because they are aware that people are totally fixated on the seven year anniversary. As far as the business perspective is concerned, it would probably be smarter to make this double rates, but we'll have to wait and see what they do. They'll probably maybe end up giving us some peel off scam packs as well to try to get our money that way. So look forward to that. I know some of you guys are really excited for the Gohan and rightfully so. The Gohan is stupidly good. The Gohan is really good. Animations are crisp. The unit is functionally really, really uh, top tier. So you guys are gonna like the unit. It's just a matter of prioritizing where you be, where you wanna be spending your stones, right? Because seven year LRs are way better than the Gohan. There's no question about that, but the Gohan is good. So if you guys are unsure, don't summon. If you make up your mind, go ahead and summon if you choose. But keep in mind that I will be summoning on this channel live for you guys to watch and be entertained by. So if you guys don't wanna even summon at all and just live vicariously through me, then make sure to subscribe and check out my live stream when I summon on this. Now, let's continue here. We've got the blue Dragonstone sale. We got the select characters. I don't know if they're gonna do all this. They might, they might still do all this. We'll have to wait and see what they do. Zenny Galore campaign is already underway on global because we already got the fusions EZA. So that is a little bit of overlap right there. As you can see here, category summon for the crossover. Worldwide chaos, all of that is still there. We've got the Mysterious Kai Rituals, don't summon on that. And then we've got the Fight Against Despair, the story event that gives us four free-to-play units that are all necessary if you want to participate in the free-to-play easy area that is going to be dropping in this campaign as well. Future Saga is the drop uh, category, increases drastically. Also, level two is a great opportunity to boost or farm up training locations, the 150 times gravity. This is an extremely good training location. I use this more than any other one. Is that what it's called? Let me see. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, whatever. Uh, basically, this is one of the better training locations, so definitely farm this out if you guys don't have enough. Farm out all of the free-to-play units. They are all required, plus a new support memory that boosts the Vegeta's family. And then looking back here, we've got the EZA for the future Gohan. This is, of course, the biggest event of them all because that's 30 plus more stones and a much needed awakening to a unit that was massively disrespected for the longest time. This Gohan just became so much better with this EZA, so this will definitely make him much more powerful. 
And uh, plus, if you don't have the LR Future Gohan, you could always run around with this guy because he's a really good alternative. And we've got the Extreme Z Battle for the Fusion. So yeah, we've already got this one. I highly doubt they're going to be bringing us the rest of the Fusion's EZAs into this part two. I guess it's possible since the Dragon Ball Fusions event is currently available. It's possible that they give us the remaining five Fusions, TURs, and ultimately their EZAs. We'll have to wait and see what they do with that. And then we've got the free-to-play EZ area for the 1718, as I mentioned. This, you have to bring these four units. As I mentioned, these are the four units that you can get from that story event. And then, these are your only units to choose from. It's a little annoying how restrictive this is. So if you guys haven't summoned on some of these guys, then chances are you might not. But still, you can run a full free-to-play team. These four units have to be on the team. And then if you don't have the Trunkses, you could bring Prime Battle Cell. You could also bring the Super Strike SSR Trunks. So that will take care of your team. And uh, yeah, it's, it might be a little bit challenging if you don't put a lot of hidden potential into them. But still, a challenge is fine once in a while. Going through the rest of this, we've got a new Super Battle Road stage. So this one I'm not sure about. I feel like we might get one. But the reason why I'm not sure is just simply because of how unpredictable JP or Global has been with their Super Battle Road drops. Granted, this is a new rollout system that they're doing. In the past... When it comes to us getting Super Battle Roads at the time that we expect to get them, it's almost never happened the way that we wanted. But now that they've changed the formula and they're no longer giving us 10 stages at once and instead giving us individual ones more frequently, it is very possible that we are going to be getting a Super Battle Road stage in Part 2 because if we do, it does somewhat line up with the remaining schedule. If we get joined forces coming up next, given that we already have Planet Namek Saga, we've got three remaining Super Battle Road stages before we catch up to JP. Obviously, we're, not, we're never going to catch up, but let's think about how much we have ahead of us. We've got the Trunks Dokkan Festival. We've got the Kid, Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's another Dokkan Festival. That's two. That's it for the remaining confirmed Dokkan Festival. Then we've got Golden Week and we've got Saiyan Day. And then whatever else, maybe one other thing, Global First. I don't know. But that is pretty much all that we've got between now and the seven-year anniversary. So with only four or possibly three remaining Super Battle Road stages, it would make sense for us to get something in Part 2. Plus, if we do, it would make Part 2 a heck of a lot more entertaining. Because if you're not going to be summoning for the LR, and then once you finish the future Gohan EZA, what else is there? So I hope that we do get a Super Battle Road stage here, but don't count on it. We'll have to wait and see. Global's very unpredictable that way. Infinite, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, this will not be here in Part 2. The reason why this will not be here in Part 2 is on Stage 17, you have to use the Entrusted Will category. And we don't have that category yet because that was a category that came from the AGL Dokkan Festival Trunks, who has not released on Global, which means the Stage 17 will not be released. Stage 18, let's see, what are the missions for this one? World Tournament Earthlings, this would happen during the Goku Kid Buu Dokkan Fest anyway, so... Yeah, we're not going to be getting any Infinite Dragon Ball history during this campaign. Oh, and then World Tournament. World Tournament, on the bright side, does give you 50 free stones. But at the cost of your sanity, your life for two days, the stupidest event in this game. Looks like Global is going to be getting it because we already saw the omens of disaster in the campaign news. We got Raditz and Videl Gohan. When you see these events, you know a World Tournament is on the way. So that is pretty much it for the part two of the celebration. And then there's the Peton battle. We've already got Peton going on. And Chain battle. So Chain battle will also be dropping as well. So that's pretty much it for part two. If you guys want to save, there's a lot of stuff to be running to get some stones anyway. And if you guys want to summon, do so with extreme caution or just watch my summons and then decide for yourself if you want to summon for this LR Future Gohan. Is it worth sacrificing potential stones and funds for the seven year anniversary? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the upcoming schedule. Do you guys think we're going to be getting a future Gohan with double rates? What are your overall thoughts about the upcoming Part 2 prospects? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly.